Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. My name is Kevin Doe here with Equipboard. Today, I will be doing a review and demonstration of this magical swirly device. The title that I'm holding here is the Earthquaker Devices The Depths Analog Optical Vibe Machine. The Depths is Earthquaker Devices' take on the classic optical analog univibe circuit. However, in true Earthquaker Devices fashion, they've added a couple of extra bells and whistles to make the original circuit a bit more versatile. On its face, you do have five knobs to control the circuit. You have an intensity knob, which controls the overall strength of the modulation, a rate knob, which controls the speed. You have this voice knob, which controls the mid-range focus of the effect. We also have a level control, which controls the overall volume output of the pedal, as well as this throb control, which adds a subharmonic low end to the sound. This pedal can be powered through any appropriate DC adapter used for powering pedals, and you can run this pedal at either 9 volts or 18 volts. The big difference between the two is that at 18 volts you do get a bit more headroom, so the effect won't drive as quickly as it would uh, if you're using it at 9 volts, which is how I tested the pedal. Because of that, I found that the level knob tended to start distorting the effect uh, after you sort of push it past 2 o'clock. Now, some people may like that kind of sound, which is great. However, if you want a bit more of a cleaner effect, I would suggest running this pedal at 18 volts. Now, what's also cool about this pedal is the Flexi Switch technology incorporated into the bypass switch. What we have here is a relay based true bypass switch that has a nice little hidden feature under the hood. So, to turn the pedal on or off, just quickly press on the switch, pedal turns on, pedal turns off. So, what's also fun about this Flexi Switch technology is that it allows you to momentarily engage and disengage the pedal using just one foot stomp. So, let's say you're playing a line. You have a nice heavy swirly effect set on the pedal and you just want it to come in just really quickly and then come out really quickly. So rather than pressing the button a few times in quick succession to do that, all you need to do is hold down the bypass switch. If you hold it down for any length of time beyond just a quick tap to turn the pedal on and off, holding your foot down turns on the pedal, engaging the effect, disengaging it once you take your foot off. No need to tap dance quickly here. Just simply hold, pedal is on, let go, pedal is off. What I also find nice about this is that there's no hidden dip switches that you need to engage this feature or any weird things that you have to do. It's all incorporated into the switch, into this relay-based bypass switch. Now, for those of you familiar with that great Univibe sound, you probably think, you know, Jimi Hendrix, Robin Trower, the great masters of the Univibe who made it a signature part of their sound. This pedal certainly delivers these goods and a little bit more. On your typical Unified pedal, you will likely find rate and intensity knobs to control the modulation effect, and maybe a level control to control the overall output. But again, in true Earthquaker devices fashion, they've added a couple of extra controls that you don't find on your typical Univibe circuit. The first one being this voice knob, which controls the effects mid-range focus allowing you to tailor that mid-range based on your guitar or whatever other instrument you decide to plug into this. And you also have this throb knob, which, as mentioned earlier, adds a subharmonic pulse to the signal, which is great if you want to add a little bit extra low end, or if you have this plugged into a synthesizer and want a bit of a fatter sound, this knob delivers the goods. Because of these tone shaping elements, you can really tailor the vibrato sound to work well with your guitar's pickups or any number of instruments. Go ahead and try this with bass, keyboards, synthesizers, electric piano, vocals. Why not? Earthquaker Devices really made sure that this device is really optimized to be used with anything. 
Andy Stone shaping features really allow you to dial in a great sound, regardless of what you're using with it. So enough chitter chatter, let's hear how this pedal sounds. For this demonstration, I'll be using my trusty Fender American Telecaster, with amp sounds provided by my oh-so-fateful UA Dream 65 pedal. The ambience that's being added to the sound comes courtesy of the Room Plugin by Plugin Alliance, as well as the Echo Boy Plugin by Sound Toys.
So, who is this pedal for? If you love Univibe and are looking for a very practical Univibe pedal that really allows you to dial in a great sound based on your instrument, your pickup, or any number of factors, this would be a great one to consider. The pedal itself really nails the sound of that classic optical circuit Univibe sound that we all know and love. And because of the extra tone shaping features that Earthquaker Devices has added, dialing in the sound that you hear in your head is really not a problem. If you're also looking to add Univibe to any number of instruments that you play, whether it's guitar, bass, keyboards, etc. This is a very versatile pedal that's really optimized to be a Swiss Army Knife Univibe that could be used with anything. Now, as I mentioned, at 9 volts, this pedal does tend to crunch up pretty quickly. So if you want a cleaner Univibe sound, I would highly recommend that you get an 18 volt power supply that would be compatible with this pedal. So if you've enjoyed our video, why not give it a like? Do share it with your modulation and Univibe loving friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you are subscribed or you just subscribed, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you are notified of new videos the second they come out. We hope you've enjoyed this review and demonstration of Earthquaker Devices' The Depths Analog Optical Vibe Machine. Once again, my name is Kevin Doe with Equipboard. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.